Hi, uh, Weed Solo here, uh, finishing off my little PTR series, uh, basically just filling you in on the world of monks. And this last little video is pretty boring, it's about your follower, whoop de doo In the end, you still run the Templar. For the spirit regen, it's as good as it always has been for monks. The heal is a little less effective than it was with, like, the Ina set. I mean, I'm sorry, the SWK set. Uh, I'd still say it's pretty good, comes in handy every once in a while, uh, and he adds just a little more CC with his other abilities. Um, they don't seem to do that much, but, you know, every little bit helps. Uh, and then for his gear, and that's where he actually starts to come, become kind of effective to help you survive, uh, is Thunder Fury. It's a great proc. Uh, it hits a few enemies and reduces uh, their attack speed and stuff like that. It's really nice to have on your follower. Throw one on him as soon as you can. Um, for the ring, the Widward combos very nicely with Thunder Fury. Uh, it helps again. Basically, every little bit is going to help you survive. Uh, and then for the Ami slot, you're going to want to throw on an S of Johan. Uh, you do want gr enemies grouped up. For one, it actually is a CC because when they're being flown around, they can attack. And uh, it does help you do some nice little dashes through trash mobs to kill them real quickly. Um, there's a few times it can be a little dangerous, but for the most part these days as a monk, you have time to get out of a sticky situation, even if they have fire chains, which don't seem to do that much damage right now, even in a higher GR. It's not that threatening. Uh, but reflect damage is like the one thing you need to be worried about at all right now. I swear, it's literally the only effix you should be scared of by itself. Now, every once in a while there's a combination, like I've said, that can be kind of frustrating. Uh, excuse me. Little, little quiet train today. Uh, and then, oh, for the shield, freeze of deflection, um, it doesn't do that much, but again, every little bit helps, right? So I uh, throw that one on because I don't think there's really another shield that's going to really do anything for you. And for the other ring slot, not as important as the other ones, you could like throw on a haunt of hollow whispers, or you think of something, um... Uh, something with uh, reduced control impairing effects would be nice, so you can go with the Justice Lantern, which always comes with it, so he's doing his small CC as much as he can. Uh, and then for the stat priority, you can't have him survive, so you throw on the Cannot Die Relic, by the way. So the only thing that matters, and by the way, he won't do functional damage either, is cooldown reduction and attack speed. Because attack speed will mean he CCs a little more, and cooldown reduction means he'll use his little cooldowns a little more. Uh, besides that, there is nothing else you need to know about your follower. And uh, in this video, I just decided to have you watch some uh, Hellfire Ami runs. It's kind of cool on T10, you have a chance at 3. Uh, I think they should just make it flat, you get 3. Um, it seems to be you get 3 like 2 thirds of the time. Uh, maybe that's good enough. And oh, this, this guy, <laughs> turns out he was using ancient strength weapons. He needed a little bit of help, but I did. And uh, he slowly started climbing those GRs. Now, uh, if you watch my videos and you don't know how to monk, you'll slowly climb those GRs too. Have a great day. And like I said, the changes are amazing. Season 4 is going to be the best yet. Alright, have a good day.